5G, 5G, 5G. This year, everyone's been talking about it. But should you or should you not upgrade to 5G? Is the 5G mobile network really, really fast? Well, we went around Orchard Road with Starhub and Singtel 5G SIM card and tried it out for you. Wow, 1.2 gigabits per second. Uyabo, for real? Yup, that's the kind of speed you can get at the most optimum conditions. So don't be too excited yet, okay? Before I go into the details of my trials of the 5G network, you first need to know a few things before you jump into conclusion. First thing first, what can you use 5G for? 5G, as you all know, will have super fast download speed for your mobile devices. You can enjoy the download of your favorite dramas and movies in a matter of seconds. But what actually made 5G more attractive than 4G is the latency, or in layman's term, the delay or the response time. With an immediate response time, you can now play your favorite action and time-sensitive car racing game via a cloud server through your mobile phones. And because it's on cloud server, you don't even need to download the game into your phone and you can play it in high resolution. You can even have video chats without any delay response from both callers. With real-time monitoring, you can have a security team to monitor an unmanned booth and lock up the criminal inside the booth before he even has the chance to run out. So that's the coolest thing about 5G. Next, can 5G replace your home fiber network? Well, that's a unique question for Singapore. That's because Singapore's fiber optic network it's so well deployed, its coverage is close to even 100%. And most households and offices in Singapore can enjoy fiber optics, blazing fast broadband connection if they need one. So it is unlikely for us to use 5G for home data. And I would predict in short term, we are not going to see any unlimited 5G data packages to replace home fiber network. 5G replacing home networks only applies to countries that have trouble building up a physical fiber optic infrastructure to all parts of their country. For these scenarios, 5G as a cellular network can reach to more places without the need of installation of fiber optic cables. So more people can enjoy blazing fast internet connections in those countries via 5G network. And finally, do you need 5G now? That really depends on where you hang out without a connected Wi-Fi. Considering that COVID-19 restrictions are still in place, do you really see yourself out in the public trying to download a 3GB file via your mobile phone? Furthermore, the 5G network coverage is still not far and wide yet. If you are looking at 100% island-wide coverage, it will take till 2025 for that to happen. But if you are working or hanging out in some of the first phase 5G development zone, you may take 5G into consideration. As much as the 5G data download can be super duper fast, but for most of us, the mobile content we currently stream on our mobile devices are still well supported by the current 4G network. Almost no lag most of the time. Well, that depends on the network you are on. For the telecom operators that I am on, so far 4G works well for me. And considering that I am a heavy YouTube video streamer on the go, it's worked well for me. So blazing fast download speed with the 5G only comes in handy for me to download a huge file in gigabyte size. And that's really what I would do outside of a Wi-Fi network. So based on the average download speed test conducted by opensignal.com, it is about 47.5 Mbps. And with that, Singapore is actually ranked at number six for the fastest download speed in the world. Just falling behind Canada, South Korea, Netherlands, Japan, and Norway. Yep, you might be thinking, wow, so slow leh, 47.5 Mbps, how can we be number six? But that is just the average speed. It can go even faster than that if the conditions are right. So in general, it should be about 47.5 Mbps, thereabout with 4G. So based on that, for my 5G test, I've actually walked down Orchard Road on a Monday afternoon from Plaza Singapura to Ion Orchard. I chose the test at Orchard Road is because this is the few places in Singapore 
where there's 5G coverage for both Singtel and Starhub. As well as there are some human crowds to jam up the network usage for more realistic results. And here are the results I've gotten. So based on the results, we are getting about 2 to 6 times faster download speed compared to the average 4G speed test. That is actually pretty good, but not impressive yet. That's because the building of the 5G network infrastructure is still ongoing. And I do believe that the results from my quick test is just a fraction of the lightning fast download speed that we can get in the future. And this is just the beginning phase for 5G network. We will expect more to come. And I bet some of you have noticed that the test that I've been doing is actually outdoor in the open. The indoor coverage are still weak because the telecom operators will need more time to liaise with the malls and the offices to get the upgrade works done. So be patient, okay? Some may ask me why I never talk about the differences between NSA, non-standalone network, and SA, standalone network. Well, that's actually a very technical kind of thing and I don't want to bore you with it. For general consumer side of things, there is no need for you to care about it yet, as you do not have a choice between NSA or SA network. So let's just keep it simple and say that it's just all 5G now. Until that day that when you come to have a choice between SA and NSA network, then I'll give you a comparison. And overall, my opinion is, if you can sign up for a free trial to use the new 5G network from either Singtel or Starhub, you should do that. But if you ask me to pay for it at this moment, it really depends on how much I dislike my 4G network, which is fine for me now, and it is serving me well. So there is really no need for me to go and upgrade it at this point in time. And it also really depends on your needs with the mobile data. Are you really a full-time gamer that you go out and play games? So latency will be an issue here? I would just leave it for you to be your own judge for that. I've already listed out the things that you need to look out for before you make the upgrade. If you like our video, remember to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And remember to subscribe to us as well. And if you have any questions for us, leave it down in the comment section below. See ya.